looking on at some architecture here. This is the capital of uh, Australia, Canberra, and you can see the Masonic uh, architecture. Uh, you see the keystone here. I can't decipher everything, but distinctly there is a pyramid structure at the very top of this. You can understand that. We have also the black and white checkers or the black and white duality within the design. There's the interior. Also in court buildings uh, of New South Wales. And you see those buildings as well. You see lodges of the same uh, in the same area, of course, in Australia. Uh, the Louvre itself has this checker pattern. This is designed by I.M. Pei. And this is the uh, Louvre Pyramid. Uh, supposedly, I haven't counted, there are 666 panes of glass in this. I can't confirm that or not. But you can see uh, obvious symbolism here, as above, so below, with a reflecting pool. And uh, this is underground at the Louvre, and that building now these opposing pyramids. You see here now Canberra, and this pyramidal shape as well. This is Hampton Court, uh, which is royal. Uh, in England, and then you, of course, you see the pyramid and the Capitol building there. I can't say that they're completely related, but uh, I, I believe they are. Something has to do with that design. This is the IRS building in uh, on the East Coast. I believe it's uh, one of the Carolinas, uh, and you can see now instead of the checkerboard uh, symbology. You have the two pillars symbology with the stripes, black and white stripes, and of course all of the Masonic uh, uh, symbolism there. Uh, looks like that's pointing, those are pointing upward, and of course you have the pyramid with the capstone on there, and the American symbolism. Hall of Fame, uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and the pyramid shapes, even the logo has the pyramid shape, and the building has a reflecting pool behind it. And then moving on to the uh, public library in Los Angeles. This is actually a video game depiction of that library. So you see here, actually, in actuality, they have the sun in there. And then in the video game, they place the eye of Lucifer in there and then also an ear. Uh, this uh, video game is uh, it's called L.A. Noir, very popular video game. Within that building is the Luciferian torch of enlightenment. And then you have these occult symbols with these uh, looks like sphinxes. This is Bertram Goodhue uh, here in Honolulu. His government buildings are Honolulu Hale, um, also the Academy of Arts. And so if you want to be an Illuminati architect, just play the game and be a mason. This is the Rockefeller Center, and this is a, a depiction. The author of the song Jerusalem, which was sung at the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games, actually designed this uh, or is part of this uh, understanding. I think there was a book written or uh, poems written. We have the square, the great architect of the universe, and, and uh, that is not the God that I know. Uh, it may sound like it, feel like it, smell like it, but it's far from it. Uh, you can understand in that in the writings. And of course, Rockefeller Center has Prometheus. Prometheus stole fire from the gods, or wisdom, i.e. from the gods, and then you have this, uh, all of these astrological symbols around. That's Prometheus there at Rockefeller Center, so you can understand that the elite have a religious sy symbol. This is a religious symbol. Uh, moving on, and we'll get into this in the uh, later section, but the logo of the Olympics, the design of the Olympic Stadium with these pyramid shapes, and even the uh, Olympic uh, mascots having the one eye symbolism. We'll get into that a lot later.